Me go at March, the Kanaga Nabinoji, Smina Tibenzgeon, and Kitamagawan, or Gikanawat Stone, Ganwenema or so Gizus, Mina, Giganawenema or Sumananak, Gayawat, and Sumadana, Skonaganak, Mina, Oten and Kiwet, Nong, Ontario, Gadogamakanamananak, Gadabitamagamananak, Mina, Gitankimananak, Me Gwetsutanan, or Ganwenema or soon, Gawit Stort, or Scardus, Jesakshink, Utanata Zuanink, Apoanink, Mina depends again ink. We next cover door Uganuanama or so give again Tikanagan dot org, no Gumka Gizgak. This March, Tikanagan Child and Family Services is celebrating Foster Parent Appreciation Month for the commitment of our foster parents across our 31st Nations in northwestern Ontario. On behalf of the chiefs, board, staff, and elders, we would like to thank our foster parents who support children and youth to maintain their connection to culture, community, and families. To meet our foster parents, visit Tikkanagan.org today. Watche, bonjour. You are now listening to Kakinaweyak, everyone together on TikTok Radio, hosted by Tikkanagan Child and Family Services. We appreciate you tuning into our weekly program every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern on Wawate Radio. Tikkanagan is a community based child and well being agency rooted in and accountable to the First Nation communities we serve. We are here because we want to protect our children, help our families, and nurture our communities. To learn more about Tikkanagan, visit Tikkanagan.org. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Buju, Wachie. I'm your host, Tommy Tikinogan, and you're listening to Gakana Oweak. March is Foster Parent Appreciation Month here at Tikinogan Child and Family Services, and on today's episode, I'll be talking to two foster parents about their experiences with fostering. Hi, my name is Jolene Roundhead, and I'm a foster parent for Tikinogan. Okay. Uh, how long have you been a foster parent? I have been fostering for six and a half years. How many kids have you uh, have you fostered so far? My husband and I have fostered 38 children in the last six and a half years. Cool. Right on. Uh, so how did you become a foster parent with Tikkanagan? What led you to consider uh, becoming a foster parent? Somebody mentioned it to us, and I've always had a love for children. And so I went home and I like talked to my husband about it and he said yeah if you want to foster um let's try it out and so we started fostering our first foster child was a brand new baby oh cool how was that um it was actually really awesome um because you got to you got to learn and you got to grow with the child uh we actually still foster him today how old is he now he is six and a half what's the best part about being a foster parent the best part to me about being a foster parent is watching the children learn and grow with you. Um, sometimes you get kil- children that um, have delays, so you have to work closely with them to get them to learn. And to me, that is the biggest re- reward is teaching them and watching them and seeing the expressions on their faces when they're actually learning something and doing something for the first time. Like It's, it's really cool. So what's the hardest part about being a foster parent? The hardest part about being a foster parent is letting them go. Um, Like you fall in love with them and I don't know, uh, like, you know, that someday they will go home, but when it actually happens, like it, it just feels like all wrong because you have poured all your love and soul into them. Right. And it's hard to watch them go home, even though it's exciting for them. It's hard for us. You continuously take in high-risk uh, children and youth. That can be difficult for someone. Uh, why is it important to you, and what's your passion behind your care for these children? Um, first off, you have to understand that these children 
um, need love. That is the the biggest key. And some of them may not have had a lot of love at home. So they act out and they do things to get attention, but the wrong attention. So you always have to keep in mind, no matter what they do, you always have to give positive attention because they're seeking the negative attention and they get a thrill from it. You and your partner are both raised these children who come into care. How do you work together? Um, I do most of like, um, like all the, 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 the um, like teaching stuff, like, and he is more of like the, oh, let's play uh, games. So he like, he'll get on the Xbox with them. Um, he'll take them out in the woods and, sh- and like show them different things like about, he'll talk to them about trapping and, um, just anything that he tries to like figure out what they're interested in. Tikkanagan's uh, service model is Mama Obiki Awasuwin, everyone working together to raise our children. How do you see this play out for you and your community? Um, it works out really good because you have a broad um, like spectrum of different people that you can go to when you need help with the kids. So having um, having that support for them is really good. What's it like working with Tikkanagan and your workers? It's actually pretty good working with uh, Tikkanagan. It's kind of like being in one great big family. Um, a lot of the workers, they're like really amazing people and like they work really hard to get what the kids need. Now, if someone was thinking about becoming a foster parent, what advice would you give them? What should they expect? What would they expect? Um I would, you cannot expect a child to come into your home and be perfect. They're going to um, act out because they've been taken from their family, right? So you're going to go through a, a little bit of a difficult time um, with them processing everything that is going on because sometimes they just don't understand. So the best advice I could give them is be patient and supportive. Okay, uh, last question. What does it mean to you to be recognized by your workers for Foster Parent Appreciation Month? Uh, it actually feels really awesome because as a foster parent, you really don't get a lot of recognition. So for the workers to nominate me, it feels really good. Uh, hi, my name is Serenity Kajuba. And I'm a foster parent for Tikkanagan. How long have you been a foster parent? Um, just under a year. So I, I was thinking it was like May, but I think it was more like March, April, actually. How many kids have you fostered? Uh, I think we're going on nine now. How did you uh, become a foster parent with Tikkanagan? What led you to become uh, a foster parent? So uh, my family is pretty diverse. Um, I was uh, adopted from birth. And over the years, my mom started to foster parent for a different agency. And it's been about 25 plus years that she's been doing that. And over the years, I've just watched her um, grow and and really admired the work that she was doing with all of the children that she's had come through her home. And with that, uh, she ended up adopting my uh, younger brother. Um, So it's just been something that that I wanted to kind of follow in her footsteps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the best part about being a foster parent? I think just all the love that's in the house. There's always activity happening. Uh, my husband and I uh, were married three years ago, so we, we got together and got married later on in life. Um, and he has no children of his own. So this gave us the opportunity to be able to raise children together and um, it's it's been very rewarding for both of us. What's the hardest part about being a foster parent? Seeing them leave. Although it's it's very bittersweet, really. Um, we you know we get very excited for them to go back to their families, and they get excited as well. And and that's you know totally totally what we want and what we strive for. But at the same time. We kind of know, like, we take a lot of younger children, too, so generally we don't see them again. And so that that can be definitely a little bit heartbreaking. Now, sometimes you might take in uh, high-risk children and youth, um, and that can be difficult for anyone. 
So why is it important to you and what's your passion behind your care for these children? So for, for me, mental health and addictions is something that I'm very passionate about. And it boils down to ensuring that the children of the parents who struggle the most um, are taken care of. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I do what I do and, and why I enjoy it so much. So being able to see not only the children thriving, but to be able to watch everybody come together to help the families, um, mom and dad, and extended family as well, is is really rewarding. Now you and your partner uh, both raise uh, these children who come into care. How do you work together? Because he works full time and I stay home, I'm the primary caregiver. Um, so a little bit more on the disciplinary side. Um, I run a pretty structured house. And he is a softie, so <laughs> he'll come in after work and, uh, you know, give the kids whatever they want. And so sometimes it's a, it's a little bit uh, difficult in that respect. But um, for the most part, it's, you know, we just, we like to laugh and, and have a good time together with the kids. And we, we definitely work together well as a team, so... Tiganoggin's uh, service model is Mamao Obiki Owasawin, everyone working together to raise our children. How do you see this play out for you and your community? Um, I think that as far as Tiganoggin is uh, as an agency, I think they're fantastic. Um, all the workers um, that I have had experience with in the last year have been absolutely amazing. Um, they're always there whenever we need anything, whenever the kids need something, um, always there to answer questions. And I think that the fact that we're based in Thunder Bay, unfortunately, Thunder Bay is, is a place that does have a lot of struggle with mental health addictions. Um, and that trickles down into the foster care system. But the great thing about it is, is that we have a lot of services all across the board, uh, for kids, for their families, and it's it's really great that we can all just work together um, to to provide the best care and a, and a good life for for the children and, and their families. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if someone was thinking about becoming a foster parent, what advice would you give them? What should they expect? Definitely expect a whirlwind. <laughs> so we have you know the kids coming in and out and. And you never know how long they're going to be here for, and, and you, you don't know what to expect when they get here. So it's just a matter of having a lot of love and compassion and empathy and understanding. Um, I think that goes a long way with the children that come into care. And um, But as far as being a foster parent with Tikkanagan itself, I think that um, they're a pretty, pretty great agency, and I would definitely recommend doing that. What does it mean to you to be recognized by your workers for Foster Parent Appreciation Month? I was really touched. I was really touched. Uh, I, I I do feel I, I work pretty hard to, you know, give the kids the best life that we can give them. Um, but I never expected this. So I was, I was, yeah, I was pretty cheerful, actually. <laughs> so, and to be nominated by two, that was pretty awesome. Now, before we wrap it up and bring it to a close, do you have any fond memories that you're willing to share with us? Um, yeah, so I, I won't mention names, but I had a, a little fella that came. He was seven, and he he came, he was here, here over the summer, um, and his situation was pretty dire, so he was only supposed to be here for a couple of weeks um, until he was able to go to a placement on his home reserve. Yeah. And because of the pandemic and flights being canceled and whatnot, he ended up staying for quite a few months. And I know that it was really, really hard for him to leave um, because he, you know, he often told us that this was the first time that he felt like he really belonged somewhere. So that, that was, uh, that was really hard to let him go. But I, I do know that he's in a, a really good place now and he's, he's home. So that's, um, we're really happy about that but he's one that i'll never forget he'll always be in my heart thank you for listening to kakina awayak everyone together on tiktok radio hosted by tikanaga child and family services
Miigwech. <laughs>